and you've got to run like hell. Because guess what? That player's coming back, and so are the zombies, and they want you to die. It sounds impossible. How could anyone stop thinking about donuts? They're delicious. They make your life better. They make, they're healthy for you. Uh... Hey everyone, and welcome to today's video. My name is Gage Edwards, and I've got a fun one for you today. Although honestly, all the videos I do are fun, so get ready for more fun. And you better be ready for fun. I'm gonna spend the next couple of minutes of our lives, because we're in this together, going over the new game mode in Donut Punks, that being, capture the flag. And not only will I be going over everything you need to know about the new capture the flag mode in Donut Punks, but I am going to show off some gameplay of mine that I have handpicked so that I look good in the video and show you how to effectively play the capture the flag mode so you get lots of wins. So first things first, let's break down everything you need to know about the capture the flag mode in Donut Punks. And now I think it's time for an outfit change. Okay, so I know you might have already checked this out for yourself since it's already in the game, but let's take a deep dive look into the new game mode in Donut Punks, Capture the Flag. Now the goal of the game is simple and is exactly what it sounds like. You capture the flag. You find the hidden flag on the map, you grab it, you run for it, and you try to keep it longer than everybody else. Of course, in this version of Capture the Flag, there's added chaos because, you know, there are zombies around. And which brings me to the hard part of the game, navigating through the hordes of zombies with the flag, as well as fighting off other players in the game. The player who scores 150 points first will win the game. You earn points by holding on to the flag and by getting kill assists or trap kills. Those will get you 15 points. And points for holding the flag will increase the longer the game goes on, from two times, to four times, to eight times, up to 16 times the amount of points you can earn by holding the flag. So you want the flag at the end of the game. But in my experience, zombies and other punks are relentless. So make sure you've got your best running shoes on. The thing that will help you in this game mode are the different perks for the different punks. Using the right perks, players can take out other players and steal their flag or trap other players and have zombies come get them, kill them, and steal the flag that way. And when chasing the flag holder, you have to do everything you can to take out that punk and steal the flag for yourself. It's okay to be selfish. Go get the flag. Make it yours. And once a player drops the flag, you've got to be quick. You've got to scoop it up. And you've got to run like hell. Because guess what? That player's coming back. And so are the zombies. And they want you to die. And they want to take your flag. For me, I like to use Blockbox, Roxy, or Tonic in the Capture the Flag mode because they have perks that send things directly after players to try and take them out quickly so that you can get the flag. Relying on trap perks like with Sleepy or Freezy leaves too much up to chance, but hey, be direct. Take out the other punks and steal the flag. The quickest way to get it is to just take them out quickly. But hey, if you do like using a punk with a more trap-like perk like Sleepy, don't worry. They are still totally viable in this game mode. There are lots of opportunities for them to take out other punks. Trapping them on the finger traps, for example, is a very good strategy. Last thing to mention about the capture the flag mode is that it's radically different than other game modes in Donut Punks. Because the only thing that matters in the capture the flag mode is the flag. Forget about donuts. I know it sounds impossible. How can anyone stop thinking about donuts? They're delicious. They make your life better. They make, they're healthy for you. Uh, scratch that last one. The only thing that matters is the flag. It's your only goal. It's the only thing in this game mode. Get the flag. Get it. Capture it. Take it. Capture the flag. Capture it. Hey, I've got a quick update for you about Donut Punks and specifically the Donut Punks shop. Previously, if you went to the shop to buy something like an outfit or a grave, you'd have to buy everything in one bundle. But now you can buy all the items in the shop individually. So if the Donut Punk shop features an outfit, a grave, a stand, something like that that you want, you can just buy that one item instead of having to buy an entire bundle. So keeping on theme with the new Donut Punks Lost Timber season, more savings for you, the player, so make sure you're using that effectively. Get the things you want from the store. They're there. Go get them. Yay! All right, let's do this. Capture the flag. We're trying to get a win. Oh, man, I'm going to get dead already. Okay, hold on. Let's just try and find this flag. There are these zombies. Okay, someone's got the flag already. So let's see if we can perk them to death and steal it from them. 
Here we go. Where did they... Are they hiding? Yeah, they were hiding. Okay. Oh, I'm going the long way now. Oh, here we go. Perks. On them. Boom! Okay. They died before my perks went off. That's okay, because now we have the flag. Okay. Take care of all that. Don't sleep me! No! Okay. And that's why Sleepy is still good in this game mode. Oh, man. Okay. Don't worry. We got this. Just got to avoid some fire there. Double fire. As the flag gets away. Pick some medicine up. More fire. Try and get over here to get this pixie. Come on, Sleepy. Need your help. Okay. Grand soul wall again. Boop. No, I killed myself, too. That's okay. <laughs> There's still time. Because we got two trap kills there, so we got more points. Dude, just standing still. No! This is the bad time, Sleepy. Oh, okay, we got out of it. Okay. Do my bidding. No, Sleepy! This stupid cat. Okay, that's fine. We got this. Sleepy, you're going to back yourself in a corner? Now it's my turn to just take you out, Sleepy. Yes. Ooh. I took myself out. That's fine. Don't do it, Nemo. Got the points there and the flag. Aha! It's mine. Okay. We're using our little hoverboard. Get away. No. Stay away from me. Stay away from me. Everybody stay away from me. Holding the flag. Everyone is dangerous to me. Try and take him out. Don't sleep me. It's just got... No. The flag is now... No! The flag is up to like eight times points right now. Now is the time to like really send it. And get more points. Steal it. Don't get sleep. I'm always asleep in this game. I'm awake. I'm hurt. Okay. We have eight plus. We're almost winning. And boom. Just like that. No matter how many times you get put to sleep in the game, you can still come out on top. Use your perks to your advantage. Keep the flag. Get points through tra trap kills and kill assists. Win the game. All right, everyone, that was the new Capture the Flag mode in Donut Punks. I hope you're able to use the tips and tricks in this video to win more Capture the Flag matches. And make sure you're using those winnings to advance through the new Donut Pass, which, by the way, is available now. So make sure you're getting the Donut Pass. And hey, make sure you didn't miss the latest Donut Punks video we put out that goes over all of the new stuff in Donut Punks that just came out with the most recent update. So go on, get that new Donut Pass, get those new rewards, and make sure you get yourself a VIP Pass as well. As always, I've been Gage Edwards, and to stay on top of all things Donut Punks, news and updates, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow Donut Punks on Twitter, and join the conversation about Donut Punks over on Discord. There you can share all of your tips and tricks about Capture the Flag, as well as any funny memes and videos that you come up with yourself. And I'm in there too, checking things out, and I want to see all the cool stuff. That's what I want to do. I want to see the cool stuff. As always, have a great day, and hey, I'll see you in the next video.